I'm Doug Lehman of my co-host Barb Giamanco and we're the Sales Accelerators, talking leadership strategies to improve your sales performance. Great topic today, Barb. We're going to talk about slow response to leads and how to fix that. Better yet, not getting back to your customers. Barb, yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah. about that. So isn't it interesting, Doug, that often uh, the salespeople will say that buyers are slowing down the process. And in actuality, salespeople are often doing things that are slowing down the process themselves. You would think with everyone looking to fill the funnel, right, with great leads, that they'd be very responsive when people actually bring inbound opportunities inbound to Inbound marketing, you fill out a form where you contact a customer or a business and they're not getting back to you. That's right. And it happens a lot more often than you would think. So in terms of sales acceleration, which is what we're talking about, the right. faster you respond, uh, the more quickly you have an opportunity to move that along to an, uh, you know, to a, to a sales close, right? I know. You want to you've got an opportunity. You've got a hot lead. Why aren't you responding? Why aren't you accelerating the process? Why aren't you getting back? Is there a reason for that? Well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes people aren't following a solid process. That could be part of it. But also I think about, let's say you just had a great sales conversation with somebody and they want you to, to summarize or get a proposal back to them. So are you getting back to them in hours or are you getting back to them in days? Yeah, time is of essence and bringing value, bringing a solution to the to their problem or need in the utmost fashion. That's right. And you mentioned web forms, and this is really important as well. So think about how many times you participate on a webinar and what happens. Immediately people start calling you, right? Exactly. And maybe you're interested and maybe you're not. Maybe you just had an interest in the topic. You filled out the form. You wanted to get some information, but you didn't want to be spammed. But if you go to the web and you specifically fill out a form saying you want a demo, which I did for a customer a few months ago, I never got a response from anyone. And, and you I've, wanted it. That, and that's, I wanted that, it. And that's more fussy. <laughs> frustrating then you know, you, you're, you're being proactive, you're doing everything right, and they're not getting back to you. So, you know, I don't want to blame the salesperson for that. That could be an internal process, right, And th that's that's broken, that sure. needs to be addressed. But for goodness sakes, if you've got a web form there and people are asking for a demo, somebody should get back to them. I just think that's kind of obvious. You know, I, ha I have a sense of urgency. There's already, there's you have the inbound marketing program working for you. There, the customers calling you, they're reaching out to you, and to have the courtesy and the responsiveness and the intestinal fortitude to get back to them. Right. And and so there's this other problem too though, Doug. Often, you know, salespeople think that the leads that are coming from marketing are not very good and they will choose not to follow up. Well, um, don't self-qualify or maybe do a little pre-self-qualification, but don't just assume and not call anybody. Well, there's a great opportunity to do some discovery phase with that potential customer or client. Being able to talk to them, it may be a lead, but it may turn into another opportunity you didn't even uncover. That's right. But you could also use social media to quickly do a little homework to figure out whether or not you think this person is the right person for you to call. Bottom line though, you've got to be responsive. Sales acceleration really depends on that today because if you're not, your competitor surely will be, right? It's as simple as that. Yeah, be responsive so. to your leads that are coming, especially if they're inbound or outbound leads, but be responsive. Get back to your customers, get back to your clients and answer their questions because if you don't, the competition will. I'm Doug Lehman with Barb Giamanco. We're the Sales Accelerators. We talk leadership strategies to improve your sales performance. Remember to connect, collaborate, collaborate and, and close. close. Thank you.